citizens, ladies and gentlemen, pastors, please help me welcome Apostle Q Shabalala all the way from above. All oh, come on, give God a hand of praise. Give God a hand of praise. Give God a hand of praise. Father, we thank you. Ubano linga na nawe, kulungulo etwa ingwele. Au kata niseki. Au fanna muntu. Wezulele nga mandla, wezulele nga gwenza. Wezulele nga buse, uya kazimulu ya kanya. Ya kopa ka upegegi. Umuse impule nzetu. Uya baba zega. And behold your greatness. Father, we are indebted to you. When a baba was was nigging in this one as Daiseli. Wasen the logo Shesanga Kokeli Manja City Baba Zega to Misegab Sugu Sitam Gelu to Moletu Eka Menilka Christu Chessing Osietu Amen Hallelujah Sisa Mile Ganjalo Bazalone allow me to appreciate and honor my sister Pastor Lungi the Apostle God bless you woman of God Amen. We honor you. Hallelujah. Once again, I honor the leadership of this church. Ganyano Pastor Teddy, Ganyano Mama, God bless you. Kumnando Gunbona, Inkonzo Ye, No Siaisa, Iatlega, Inkonzo Nianzayo, and we thank God for you. Amen. Snatala Pantep Conan Bengo, see. Glory to Jesus. Uh, we thank God once again for allowing us to be of service to you and allowing us to be in his presence. Amen. And we thank God so much for you and for what the Lord is doing in this place. Amen. Thank you. Ulestanu ke namhla nje kuthiwa anginkante. Thiwa nje mas just so mangabe wazi ukuthi ujagile have some water. We are not leaving any time soon. <laughs> Amen. We thank God so much. Um, we had a wonderful time here last night. Um, we were so blessed. Amen. 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 We were so Amen. I believe you bring out the best. Amen. And this Amen. 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 Wagu kona always fanzane owe no more po. Liti is legosi. She had an issue of blood, and I want you to understand that the word of God has no mistake. Nyazuguti baninga banda sebe kuluma about the errors. They speak about the errors that they are able to find in the text according to them but i'm still one of those that believe has no mistake and it is language she had an issue of blood it doesn't say she had a disease it says she had an issue uh, that start out 
ezizinto ezijwayelekile zenzekayo nakwabanye abantu when you are beyond the help ebeki ukuthi ngasiza nesize abanye abantu it becomes more than the situation ejwayelekile it becomes something ongayiqambika ama uthi it's an issue this is no longer a disease this is now an issue because if you can bleed for 12 years and not die you've got an issue if you can bleed nobody ever bled for 12 years and stayed alive she had an issue of blood she had an issue on ibuka negatively uti it was an issue of an illness that could not be cured but she also had an issue of the disease that could not consume her she had an issue this woman had an issue of blood now let the bible lose and be on king down and could not find assistance until she decided in her mind to do what was never ministered utisaidinta ngashunyelwa nga uzishumayeza yena obe ngoba lithi bible lithi bible she said to herself she said to herself if i can just touch the hem of his garment you see a problem igiya no wesifazana kodwa understand ukuthi ukuphila kuse impatheni zomunye umuntu ujesa kana hayi ishu of blood kodwa lo wesifazana ubona ukuthi maye ngathinta umbetho wengubo ka Jesu khona into engenzeka kuyena without Jesus knowing here me church she said to herself I am going to decide the next miracle that Jesus is going to do which has never been done before. She said I get to decide because I can't survive for 12 years and do nebulela abanye abantu and call myself normal. I've got to get to a level where I decide my next miracle. Miracle yokuqala kube ukuthi angifanga ku 12 years miracle yesibili ukuthi angizuphila ngesandla miracle yesibili angizuphila ngesandla ezibekwa abanye angizuphila ngamafutha agcocwa abanye i've got nothing against oil angizuphila ngamanzi adayiselwa abanye angifuna ukukhuluma ngalo nto ngizetekwini uthi i want to decide on my own ukuthi ngithinta umbetho wengubo ngakazi uthintwe ukuzulapha isifa esikhaze silashwe Now Guess got to approach to Jesus The Bible says we are hamba she told herself Now lento ku Jesus ngoba ye ikhuluma nge miracle elandela that u Jesus has not done before so this was going to be an honor bambi kama This was going to be an honor to Jesus because she did not decide to touch impatha yomfundi aka decide dang ukuthinta impahla yekholwa udecide ukuthinta impahla ka Jesu so honor belongs to Jesus so what she was deciding to do was to go there and honor Jesus because honor was due to Jesus you see the fact that she has she has survived 12 years of bleeding non stop without dying it had to be something to do with Jesus and therefore touching the hem of his garment is the recognition that i did not do this for myself this was recognition that there had to be a greater power that gave me survival over the past 12 years
before a witch doctor, before a medical doctor, before any other assistant they had to be somebody that sustained me and caused me to keep on breathing even though my situation got worse but I did not feel like I was dying even though my body looked like I was dying. I'm going to honor Jesus because after 12 years honor is now due and now my resorting to Jesus Utin to Jesus Jesus was on his way to receive honor in the house of Charias God went to learn. Somebody was waiting to give him honor because of her situation. Now listen to this very carefully. The Bible then says she touched Jesus. She touched his clothes. And look at that. It is very much possible for you not to feel if someone is touching your clothes and she said even if he doesn't feel it I'll still receive it listen when she touches the hem of his garment who touched me and then the pastor Teddy's of the time said oh lord we're all touching you and Jesus said someone touched me and took what I did not release she took a decision to take what was not distributed it was due for Jesus to receive the honor. When he received the honor, it was then due for the disease to come to an end. And I have in the in plain, plain lingiti. When you give honor to whom honor is you. There are things in your life that have tormented you for the past 12 years. There are things that you've struggled with for your kimpiloyako. When you give honor to whom honor is due, it becomes contagious. As he receives the honor, you receive the breakthrough. And whoever open work for you to give honor, when she receives the honor, is in this corner Zitola was for a promotion who you for a new car who suits you for another level who suits you a son pants and guns could remain so you could manage it Jesus goes around preaching and may humble shumayelu chesu he then realizes that because he was 100% man and 100% God he realizes that his human side is hungry and he looks around for whatever he's going to eat and he finds a fig tree and little Bible it was not time or season for the fig tree to give fruit it was not time which means it was not right to find fruit in the fig tree on that time of the year 
which means fruits were not due. But the creator of time and seasons goes to the tree and expects to get what is not due. I need the church to hear me today. You see, because he is hungry, he understands that his hunger will suspend the rules. In the because Jesus is hungry and when the tree failed to respond to his hunger he cursed it The Bible says he cast it and Yasha to the roots to never give fruit ever again, even in its right season. Now that's the danger. Today I'm going to announce that it's time for honor. The danger is that when you don't realize as a fig tree. Because you are the fig tree. Because when a home servants were Santa Zak, when you don't realize that there is a need to ha- to honor the hunger, there's a danger that you may never produce fruit again. There's a danger. And listen to this. The fact that it doesn't produce fruit doesn't mean it disappeared. Because the Bible says, Mahamba, Mabebuya, Umfundi Wati Do you see the tree that you've cursed? It's still there, but it's withered. Be careful. Be careful that you do not exist only for us to see that you are withered because you failed to recognize honor that's you kile mondaya labaskata of premature honor. <laughs> premature honor. Kuna problem is a stupid lemabanshen. Where they honored us when honor was not you. Neng pati you think just bizwa kai yonkin dole. Premature honor. You will write on your point like nobody's business just to suppress. You think you are suppressing the leader that the Lord anointed for that time and for that place. And people listen to you and give you premature honor. The Bible says there was a prophet that went into the house of Jesse. My figure on prophet in Jesse, Uti Jesse, the Lord has sent me to anoint a king in your house. The Bible says, Uti Jesse, Uti, oh, okay. Wakipa bafana baka bana ifube inkulu. Nababa nama six pack waba veza wata. Can he be king? And the man of God said, no, not this one. Can he be king? Uti, no, not this one. Can he be king? What I'm saying, Uti, are these all your sons? Little Bible, why is it? 
at which I say yes. Na pan kago yeto. Ulusi zimfu. Itin dota kangu lungulu. Hambani mbizi we are not going to sit down until he comes. Because where he is concerned, nothing will ever be seated. Where he is concerned, yonki ndi yogu mamanjin. Where he is concerned. Because now we cannot sit because we are able to recognize him before he arrives. And 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 upondo. And ilipete lili ndu kale kanda lendota. And says who kale pants. Now listen to this. What my angel David? Christ who till come in punga? I no galona. And I'm a calm prophet. I do le punga and le impongo. Ne punga le zimfu. I do punga la masulu. I'm telling you, my foot. Now many preachers hate Jesse because what my angel took touch of David. Babylon, they look at them. Niggas tell us, of course, who just what pindele invuin premature honor. I think I'm born with a vit. Ne candle to be the light to lama foot. A shy quella. A is swagaling at he a clear long and shower zing yellows. A bcism first buises buisel and up. At my status, yes, I will Ati njoko bangu melu swe zoom vuna muche hofu melu swami. Ati njoko bizi mvungizi iso chani na mangyo we swela. Ati wiyang hise man zinok pumula mbona matela kaza. Ati zivu za mgizi hise matelu na kaza kan chalo na ame. Wiyang hise matelu na kaza. Ati mangabez hamba e hamba nazo. Bona kati zia fengeleni. Ati nko siya miyebo na ame. No mangabez koti nse tunzi logu fangye we sabo gubi. Ati ntonga ya mno tondo lo mgyang tutuza. Le zizi mvu ya zbo nukuti zinete zegi le makona ene tuze. Why, why is premature honor dangerous? It is because you can never go to the throne if you do not have at least a bear or a lion that you probably may have killed along the way. Ebel zamugu tizi mfu Zako Walibamba nge mshati walitwe ngula Lewo pufagazi Ibono pusebenza pambi kakoliat It can only be you Iona If kukoni ngwaba Le pele under your belt If kukoni ngwaba Le ngonyama under your belt if there is a Goliath somewhere that has been buried because of your stone, honor can only be due because it is only then that you will be able to realize I'm leading, but I'm leading without the Ark of the Covenant. I can't lead like this. I can't lead like this. I can't lead like this. I am able to recognize that I'm leading, but there's no God in my leadership. I've got to. So honor is due. Because you've got some scars on your body. Uh, on my body, I bear the marks of Jesus Christ. I've got some scars. I've got some stories. I've got Kunez in this corner. And so honor is due because of the journey that I would have walked. As fun any people can the book of first kings please Marcos of Allah first kings chapter 17 Yes, First uh, Kings chapter seventeen, verse twenty-four, please. First Kings seventeen, verse twenty-four. The NIV reads: Then the woman said to Elijah, "Now I know that you are a man of God, and that the word of the Lord from your mouth is the truth." 
Oh yes, yeah, so please read again. Then the woman said to Elijah, Now I know that Now I know. Then the woman said to Elijah, Now I know that you are a man of God. Now I know that you are the, you are a man of God. And that the word of the Lord in your mouth is truth now now i know that you're a man of god and the word of god in your mouth is truth as thunders the bible can see le see a call why you like we're moving on some sevens jungle we're not moving on man some shabbat we bless you for your word in jesus name amen be seated saints now this was a story about Elijah the prophet and the Bible says she went to this woman and once again he was hungry and when he goes to this woman this was a widow with a son driven by hunger he asked for water little Bible Louis Fazan and Gatesayago Kamanzi driven by hunger he asked for more but he said he uparted ne sing kwa ikabele nguwana luk bangi ishe liti paipe ni lowest father ne driven by poverty she first denied wati angna gogo kupawena i have just a little for my son and i to eat and die and the bible says uti um profeti no 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 give me to eat first and the key word there is first and wherever gune kamiliti first kututi koneliti second yeah. the multiplication yenze kala hapo kase kase the multiplication did not happen when the food was distributed it happened when the food was announced okay. would you give me to eat first 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 and little people we are humble your man zela maybe we are your man zela we are nigeza we are and whilst she is eating he's prophesying oh glory to jesus if your apostle has never eaten anything that comes from your hands i'm, I'm not talking about i'm talking about i enjoy in your name because as your apostle is eating Little people, what my head, the way said, surely I tell you, the flower in your basket shall never run dry. Surely I tell you, the oil in your jar shall never run dry. Even as I eat, surely I tell you, you shall never be in lack ever again. Surely I tell you, as I eat, and little people, and as she was enjoying the more than enough food ukula the bible says and the boy got worse and worse until he died and little people why again this woman goes to the man of God and says, Have you come to curse me? Why is my son dying? And little people, oh, I love this man of God. The Bible says, Elijah took the dead boy from his mother's hands. Was she you mama to grieve as he took the corpse upstairs? Kuna zinto zake kufana lunga grieve we bamba. Fana lunga grieve we tetel and let the apostle take them upstairs. The Bible says one time to find wakupuka na his tepis. Why are na yo pezulu? Umawakesa's hands. And, and, and the man of God took the boy to his room. He took the boy, read your Bible, to his room. 
Ngoba koni mtanda zenge kipendu ule kwako. Kwako. Koni mtanda zenge kipendu ule kwako. He took the boy to his room. And when he got there, ufigu mbega on his bed. Laina kule langa kon. Umbega mbete nwa mprofet. Umfano fi. And then the prophet looks up to the Lord. And the Bible says he cries out to the Lord. And says, oh Lord. Have mercy on this boy. And give him life once again. And you tell him, I'm betting, I'm prophet, I'm going to go to feel. Just when I'm going to go to feel, I'm going to go to feel. I'm going to go to feel. I'm prophet to feel. She left her chair empty. She just left her chair empty. Upstairs. I uh, hear me church. That chair is empty. Upstairs. Angmazu zowenza ni downstairs. But if there is any dead thing down there. If there is any dead thing down there. Her furniture is empty upstairs. And I know she's not going to sit there the whole night. There's going to come a time when she's going to come upstairs. May she not come up the stairs empty handed. And little boy belly. It's got to about to get rough now. And little boy belly, as he prayed hmm, and looked at the boy, and the Bible says he then stretched himself three times over the dead body. He stretched his body three times. Over the dead body. In the natural. But I understand that as the boy was laying there, he could not do this anymore. And as Wayans are naturally, got a Wayans are something else spiritually. Whatever was a limitation, whatever was a boundary, whatever was closed up, whatever was caged up, as a stretcher, three times. Peskum Zimbawaki. The Bible says the hands began to move and uh, the feet began to move and the, the mind began to reason and the, and the heart began to pump and the, and the lungs began to move as he just stretched himself over the dead boy. He, he, he began to receive life once again and the Bible says he then took the boy in his hands and came downstairs. <laughs> And he gives him to his mother. feel. Hear me now. And when he gives the boy, Uti, Mama Bug. Hey, go see. Mama boo. Umfanu wako gache feel. Say appeal. Kona inu mama la ingi. Mama booga. Mama booga, mama booga. No mu mu twa sili sana mchange. Kuna ento yako. Mama booga, 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 booga. Booga mama, booga mama. Ungena la ingi. Kuna ento yake feel. Mama booga. Oh, what you Booga mama. Ungena la ingi. Kuna ento yako. Let's into me inga nyagas. Mama booga, 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 booga. 
behold, behold. This boy was going to be dead forever. You thought you were planning a funeral. You thought it was going to be over. You thought it was not going to be returned ever again in your life. But behold, behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Behold. Mama Buga, Mama Buga. Mama Buga. And then the woman responds and she says, Now I know that you are the woman of God. Now I know. Now speaks of a time. Now speaks of a time. And now speaks of a Jew. Now I know that you are the woman of God. And the words that are in your mouth are truth. And not fact, but truth. Because it's fact that your disease is incurable but it's truth that by his stripes you were healed it's fact but truth that there is a miracle with your name on it in this room today and that's the truth I choose to believe the truth I choose to believe the truth. Jesus is the way, the life, and the truth. Nobody goes to the Father, but through him, he is the truth. He is my truth. Changen Kusela, Jome, Nama, Tigawe, Nasiki, Tigawe, announcement now in this atmosphere hey bahasa ya da da tachi kitamandu kasa la 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 sa ta la ba ya Me church. For 
for all the time of frustration for all the seasons of stress for all the pain for all the tears for all the prayer items I bring you a message from heaven that in this season it is due time as you give honor to the apostle in this house it will be due for your season to change you've been in that level for too long you've been speaking the same prayer for too long complaining about the same thing for too long i'm about to stretch myself over your death situation three times tonight and as i stretch myself every dead thing in this house everything that does not move everything that does not speak everything that does not respond in the name of jesus is about to hear the word of the lord Listen to this. Stand there, my sister. I want to do something. I want to do this. Hey, that's the upper room that you are on. And down there, there are people that carry dead things. And uh, and I want you to do a, just a simple illustration because if you go to the house, you walk her down the stairs. If you go to the house, you go to the house. If you go to the house, you go to the house. If you go to the house, you go to the house. The gospel is power. the resurrection and the life I refuse for any that thing to remain dead in this atmosphere I refuse for any that thing to remain dead right now 